Hey guys, uh, Elkwa here, and today I'm bringing you another, well not another, but um, I used to do mod reviews sort of back in the day and I'm going to do a lot more. So um, at the moment I've been playing a lot of uh, Star Wars, I think it's called Star Wars Opposition Mod, uh, link down below will be below. But this is a little showcase of, I guess, the Allied Forces um, weaponry. So as you can see, we have all the vehicles. So... Um, at the moment, I'm playing as Commander Rex. Uh, so all the sort of um, skins, all no skins, so all the armor sets, all the weapons, everything you know, basically including Star Wars, it's all obtainable um, in the game, and it has a wide variety of uh, weapons. So at the moment, we are using a EE33 blaster, which I think is like the same one as a uh, Boba Fett uses. As you can see, they're not completely accurate, but good enough it has uh, also has a burst fire mode and that's it we also have a lightsaber which I'm not quite sure how it works but you just left click and it makes noises oh there we go so it is actually killing me but um, if you get close to something I should chop through it and we also have a rocket launcher that doesn't have a lock-on feature, but still. Um, just a test it out. I'll test it on that wall. Probably could take down that building, to be honest, if that building is destructible. Almost there, so... This mod pretty much has everything styles in, so I'm not going to start off with the ships, I'm going to start off with what vehicles I have. Let's try and get this building to be knocked down. Nah, it's not going to work. We also do have um, the Bofet jump pack, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, there we go. So if you press Control and M, it throws you up near. But obviously, it doesn't land you properly, so uh, <laughs> you can't really do much. Uh, so there's a charge on it, but I don't think the charge is good enough. It, it'd be alright, I guess, to kind of boost you on top of a building for a better vantage point, but you've got to be able to fucking um, like land it properly. So like if you press Control uh, and M, which is the default key binding for it, it shall boost you up near. You also might be able to use the rocket on the back. I'm not sure I haven't figured out how to use that yet. There's not much tutorials with this mod. That's why I'm making this. So if you just... Uh... And I'm dead. Again. See, armor isn't good for those sort of physics. Um, it doesn't like anyone going too fast. So that's the only problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to go have a look at the Allied Forces vehicles. Um, which is under which is worse underneath um, Blue Fort, which is, you know... The good side, apparently. So first off, we have the, the clone speeder bike. Um, yeah, the bark speeder. So as you can see, it's a bit glitchy, but nonetheless, it has guns in it, like blasters. And if we press X, it should boost us even further, because uh, X on you for handbrake is a speed boost. So this can reach, uh, I don't think this can reach 200, I think it can reach like 150, maybe 170 at the max. So you've got to find a road long enough to just go flat out on. Yeah, this could reach 200 quite easily to be honest. So that's this vehicle, I'm actually going to go park it up properly to demonstrate how fucking difficult it is to turn. Look at that turn arch. There we go. Eventually, it'll just correct itself and turn in. So we also have what I like to call the big box vehicle, which is uh, the ATT. Uh, it's basically more or less a transport vehicle. Now, there's many variants of this vehicle. Um, there are flamethrower versions. There are turret versions. This is just used like for transport at the moment. So as you can see, if you look inside, um, there's enough room for a shit ton of people on the inside. You also have you know the cameras on the inside because it is a box thing um, if I stop it there are also commander seat which is no weapons at all and you have gunner seat 
which also has no weapons at all because this is a default version. If I got a passenger, I can sit in the back. But if I get out and passenger right, I believe, you can have a bunch of people sitting on top. So in theory, you can have about 12 people on this, I think. I'm not sure how many exactly how many seats. But there's a lot of seats on this roof and you know, you can just have, you know. Uh, just drive, just drive by people. Uh, let's see how many rockets this thing takes. I think this thing's a pretty much a powerhouse. I say that it goes down in one. So they're very difficult to destroy if you crash them. So if you're not that good as a driver, um, it does not really matter. I'm probably gonna save the rest of the vehicles now and not blow them up. Just so I can test out um, a bunch of these. So what I'm going to do is uh, test out the jets in a bit. And one of them's taking off. Oh well, we're going to restart the sequence now in a bit anyway. So so yeah, we also have the land speeder. Which also can go quite... I'm pretty sure that thing just blew us up then. But ah oh well. Um, that's what I get for spawning in all the shit with actual people in them. Hopefully this person didn't get any ideas of his own again. Uh, there'll probably be a jump cut. We'll have to spawn those things in individually after I give them a quick rundown. Um, I am going to equip a bunch of shit because it is making me go slower. So we do have Class A Thermal Detonators. We have Class B thermal detonators, deoxys grenades, EMP grenades, and explosive charges, which we will test on later on. But it looks like he doesn't like his getting in that land speeder. That's never good now. The land speeder is also really good. It has a you know, ridiculous high capacity. Um, and also has no speed boost for some reason. It just has an handbrake turn. But if I was to go really fast in this and suddenly just pull the brakes, I should topple forward and that's the only problem with it. This thing's really fucking awkward. And there he goes. So that's the only problem with the land speeder is the fact that it will topple really quick. But now we're out, yeah? Before we finally test the last speeder bike, we are just going to throw a bunch of grenades at this thing. Which don't seem to want to equip. Hmm. That must be a problem. Let's try dropping them and then picking them back up. Grenades do not want to deploy. So we're just going to quickly um, off ourselves because it's quicker than running all the way back there. There we go. So I command Rex putting you all through this, but uh, it needs to be done. And finally, once I get over there, we do have the speed rocket. I did set up an arsenal here, but the arsenal doesn't work in this mod. Um, so to showcase a bunch of weapons, which I'll do next before I get the ships, uh, I'm just going to go into Eden Ed, uh, and do it that way, because that way would be a lot easier. So here is the captured speed bike with uh, the little sort of uh, thing implanted on it. But as you can see, this thing... Is also ridiculously fast with mountain guns, which never run out of ammo, which is always a good thing. Um, at the moment, I'm playing on an Excel server, which has a bunch of missions, and it's ridiculously good to uh, blow up enemy vehicles that uh, you need to blow up to complete the mission. The link to that server will be uh, in the description below. It's really good, to be honest. I stream it quite a lot. Um, I've got quite a good following on it. But see, uh, Max 108, and as soon as you press that X, it gives a nice little boost that eventually takes it quite high up but it doesn't want to work for some reason so if you just bear with me a minute I'm gonna clear some shit out and we're gonna to jump to uh, weapon so hey guys um, we had to say goodbye Commander Rex because for some reason it would not load any of the weapons but um, we're here in Eden Edda now to showcase um, 
the weapons that are available in this mod. So I do have a bunch of XL mod uh, weapons up because I'm currently running an XL and playing on an XL server as I've uh, previously explained. But as you can see, there is a wide variety of uh, weapons in this game. So we have like shit like we even have like a black battle droid hand blaster. I know, which is quite stupid on a clone trooper, but still. Um, so we have like a uh, blast tech blaster, a massive right. We even have like a bow caster for Christ's sake. Uh, we have flamethrowers, which are quite good. Um, I'm gonna give like four of these weapons a go, so I'm gonna give the flamethrower a go. Um, just for the sake of it, and then we're gonna just uh. So as you can see, the flamethrower is quite powerful, but they, uh, just fucking destroys everything, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick to looking at uh, some powerful weapons now. Um, see, so the stereotypical sort of blasters, um, the big heavy blasters. We have uh, the kind of uh, Queen Amidala blaster, I guess. We have the Jango Fett. We have the mini Jango Fett. Um, flamethrower hand. We also have the Storm Blaster, which is ridiculously good. High powered as shit. With the Kashyyyk rifles. We also have Palpatine hands. Uh, oppressor flamethrower. A sonic thing, the things that fucking bug people use, I can't remember their names right now. Uh, the T21 heavy blasters, which are ridiculous. Part. The Tuscan rifle, which is personally my favourite. Uh, it runs, uh, I believe, 12.7mm rounds and these are massive damage on it. We're going to give Palpatine hands a go because that looks fun as shit. And he just looks like he's doing jazz hands at the moment. Holy shit. So what we're we gonna do, yeah? We're gonna create a little tiny scenario. Um just for the sake of this, uh, I might die straight away, so high rank. So like obviously uh so now I'm not gonna use anything on this because this will be a second sort of thing. So he is gonna turn against his own briefly. Uh maybe some rebels. Rebels, some desert rebels. Let's chuck a rebel sniper in. Let's chuck another a rebel jumper in. Rebel. Let's see how he fares against these. Um, they'll only start attacking now when uh, I attack them, so we should be fine. They shouldn't turn around and immediately attack us. It's fucking one hit. Oh shit! He was stuck to fucking electricity. Let's restart that. Let's try and get them all. Nope. Unless I have the light. The lightsaber should be able to deflect shit. But uh, we're going to try one more time to try and wipe more out. I think it's very inaccurate, but it seems a bit. Yes! They so do you. No! But yeah, let's uh, return back to Enet there. And edit loadout. And we're going to give a brief look at some of the uniforms. So. <laughs> Uh, Wookiee clone. So basically, what happens is you have a chest plate, which if we take that off, it should be fine, and then a helmet. There we go. So now we have a Wookiee with the jazz hands. We're going to have a battle droid, a guard droid, pilot droid, um, bandit uniform, which is kind of default. And then you have like s several different like clone trooper armors, and then the chest plate is separate. So you can have like a, a kind of like pilot rebellion. You have Greedo's clothing and all that. Um, several different types of clone stormtrooper armor. You have the death trooper uniform, which is kind of a bit textured wrong. Uh, you also have uh, the pilots for the Imperials. 
Um, I'm not going to look for any Imperial stuff. Here we got Rebel uniforms. You know, stereotypical camel bullshit. Um, so like Stormtrooper uniforms, Clone Trooper uniforms. Uh, if we move on to, if we make sure we are, uh, we have no clothing on a minute. So we can have like Wookiee armor, which is all different types. You know, the strap, a bunch of camo. We have the clone armor, which is just a chest plate, um, which is quite high in ballistic protection. We have like the cape for the fucking. Can't remember, Tarkin, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, a bunch of Scarif shit. And then if we just uh, make sure we remove all that. And then backpack wise, we have like uh, just an invisible backpack for the sake of keeping your armor somewhat visible. Cable backpack, which apparently is has a ridiculously high capacity. Uh, there's one in here that's glitched out that has 300,000 capacity. So yeah, that is it for most of the shit. Obviously, we have like the all different types of helmets. Um, We're just going to customize our character real quick before we get into flying everything. So let's find uh, a clone trooper uniform. Which any will do. Um, I kind of do want that grey one though, just to match it. There we go. And then we'll find ourselves a chest plate. Let's see, we just uh, customize our stuff for it. I know this probably isn't completely accurate, but um, put your jump pack on. Get ourselves a Darth Maul lightsaber as our secondary. Ooh, now we get the West Blast pistols. And then as our primary, we will have, for the sake of being accurate, we'll just, ooh, I don't know. Let's just chuck a blaster pistol in for the sake of it. Or we'll try this. Um, and then obviously play as character. And we'll have a look how the, the Django Fett dual weapons go. So that's them took out. Switch over to the dual pistol. Oh, it's only one pistol. They're all taken off. <laughs> As you can see, the fucking cockpits of these are not penetrable at all. Um, I don't think I can shoot through them. No, they're bulletproof. Yeah, we're going to return to Ened now, and we're going to give a little jump cut into testing um, these vehicles. So I should be back with you shortly. Right, so first off, I'm just going to... Uh, these people are going to follow me if they don't try and take that ship off me. If they try and take the ship, I'll kill them. But um, nonetheless, for some reason I cannot... Oh, I can. Cool. So uh, here we have the LAAT, which is the clone trooper like transport ship. Um, it's it's fairly accurate, you know. Um, we have we can get in the back by here, sit off the edge, get a nice little shot in. We can switch to various other seats in here. I don't think we can stand up in here though, like in the in the films. But we do have, <coughs> I believe. We can rearm at this vehicle, and there's also first aid kit in it. But um, so we can either be as gunner, which is this seat here, which for some reason the guns are facing up behind. Um, the only problem with this one, I'm pretty sure. So now we should be able to face forward. The only problem with this vehicle, I believe, it is the gyro. Censoring, I think, on that is a bit fucked. As you can see. It doesn't really work. This is how it flies. 
And believe me, it's not me doing this. Um, that's the unfortunate thing about it. This is the only vehicle in the mod that doesn't work properly. A lot of them have a lot of flaws, but still. Um, but apart from that, it's a really fucking nice vehicle to use if it fucking worked. Um, we're going to skip now on to the next vehicle, which should be the X-Wing, I believe. So here is the AR uh, vehicle, I guess. Um, no. Fighter ship. Um, at the moment, I'm just playing as a character in there. We've said goodbye to our clone trooper model, but they just do the fact that for some reason, Captain Khan shot at the air. And I don't know why. Hopefully, this works. Maybe I'll just fly low. I should be fine. But yeah, the, the vehicles fly pretty fucking well, to be honest. Um, they take a while to get going. Build X, it should speed up a lot more now. Um, I've chosen that tax stand because it's kind of like fucking the sort of Tuscan Raider sort of um, habitat. And it's also where the Exile server is based, uh, the Exile Extinction Star Wars, I believe. Um, yeah, the vehicles are quite fucking nice to use. They're not very difficult to fly. If you can fly a jet, you can quite easily fly one of these. Especially when they get up and go in, they're a bit fucking clunky and slow to start off with. But when they get up and go in, they are fucking brilliant. They're difficult to land though, because I believe this thing doesn't have any gears. Uh, sorry, it doesn't have gears. Like a gear to land with. So. So, you can land on Alien Pilot, you can turn Vector in off. I'm pretty sure there's. If I turn the afterburn on, we go a lot faster. Like, we should reach a thousand, like nothing now. And armor does somewhat struggle to do this. We also have um, torpedoes, I believe. Oh! But yeah. That's a little show of the AR, or ARC. Um, we're going to jump into uh, some of the more well known vehicles now. So we are now uh, flying some of the uh, the Alliance uh, weapons. Uh, sorry, vehicles part of the Alliance pack, which here is the A wing. Set the gear up shortly now. Yeah, where is gear? There we go. Gear up. Afterburners on, which will speed us the fuck up. Flaps down. Oh, we should start going faster. So this thing's a nice little thing to run around with. It's just like, as always, the jet, the hardest part about flying jets is landing it. Like, this thing is going way too fast at the moment. I do need to turn this around. And it doesn't like turning. Especially when you're going 700 miles per hour, kilometers per hour. So, what that looks like. This is torpedoes, but I think we just run out. But we have an infinite amount of lasers for some reason. I'm gonna have to try and control this because this thing is bobbling as fuck. I was gonna set up some form of scenario to use these with, but it's just this so unpredictable that I didn't know whether it was gonna work or not. We're just going to do a backflip now, and we're going to crash into the ground. Let's see how long it takes us to do a backflip. Ah, I'm going to burrow through the fucking earth! Few more, few more vehicles not showcase, and that shall be the showcase over with. Let's get in a U-wing, which is my personal favourite because it's, it's fucking massive and it just looks nice. And has all this fancy shit on the inside as well. You also have a co-pilot and the little R two D two sort of like droid startup noise.
and uh, let's have a look. After is on, and we should start the fucking speed like fuck. But we want to go this way. So if we put X on, it should speed us up even faster. I think this thing hits a thousand quite easily. It's also it's so fast and so big that armor doesn't really know how to control it. That's my frames are at sixty at the moment, so this isn't juttering, it's the vehicle juttering. Because it's going so fast. This is where the road ends, so we're going to turn off left, right here. Back to where we came from. Because I've, tur I've turned X, you see if I hold X, it just speeds up quick as hell. Um, X for some reason is a boost on a, on a jet opposed to a handbrake, like on a vehicle. Just like flying low because it's fucking cool. But I usually end up crashing it. Let's turn out again. I'm gonna crash this now. Woo! Holy shit. And giving someone a bad day. Nice house. Oh, fuck you. Let us fly. I believe the X Wing is the last vehicle, so we're gonna fly. The X Wing, which is. Quite cool, and it works quite accurately. We're gonna go to the one with the torpedoes in it, stereotypical loop Skywalker one. I know it doesn't got an R2 in, it's got like an R4 unit in, but still. Boot this thing up. There's no co piloting and no back pilot on this one, it's just a one person man thing. So we can open our spoils. Which do this out like this sort of like gives the X Wing its name, I guess. And afterburners on. I'm not sure if this thing goes faster than a thousand. I haven't really tested this out with afterburners on yet. Just gonna have to see. Just gonna try and turn it off this way. Slowly picking up now. It's quite cool to fly in first person, but it's just somewhat more difficult for me. But, oh well, immersion and all that. Yeah, this thing isn't going any faster than 700. Woo! No, it's as fast as it goes. It isn't as fast as the previous vehicle. But nonetheless, it has a bit more maneuverability. It also has torpedoes. But like, one really slow one. Try to do a barrel roll on it, not a barrel roll, but like a loop de loop. I don't know if it works, my gear's still down. There we go. Gears up. Woo! But yeah, that crush shall uh, end the showcase for the Star Wars opposition mod, and uh, it kind of highlights. Uh, of the Rebel Alliance and the Cl and sort of like uh, Republic as well. But yeah, with that, um, at the moment, I'm just see it gives you the sort of stereotypical sort of default skin, and the thing is more or less laser proof. You can't blow it up with a fucking hand out laser. Brilliant. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, there will be a showcase on the Sith side. Um, it'll be out later on. But this is probably going to be a 20 minute video. So uh, thank you all for joining. Um, make sure to check out the links in the description for the server run by my friend uh, XL Star Wars Extinction. Or, yeah. Pretty much. Um, is a Star Wars XL roleplay server. Um, which is basically XL with a reskin of Star Wars. With a lot of Star Wars based missions. And all that sort of bullshit. It's ridiculously fun. Um ridiculously popular as well to play uh there's no there's not another server out there like it to be honest it's incredibly fun so i'm just gonna crash into this x-wing now and then bid you farewell bye